Right, Chinese cars are becoming a more common sight on roads in the Middle East. It's partly a result of China's Belt and Road Initiative, which has seen more Chinese brands setting up and competing in countries along the new Silk Road. In the UAE, in particular, plays a key role as a major auto market and re-export hub for the region. From Dubai, Nawid Jabarkil has more on the effects of the Belt and Road Initiative is having on the automotive industry across the Middle East and Africa. When it comes to cars, the Gulf is a region that's long been dominated by Japanese and American brands. But that's slowly changing. In recent years, Chinese car brands have seen their presence grow rapidly. They now account for about 5% of total sales in the Gulf, and they're expected to reach double-digit market share by 2020. We've seen a very diverse now, especially with the new platform of GT, the diversity of different nationalities and very positive feedback from business partners, competitors in the industry and of, of course the end user. From Geely to Syke to Cherry, pretty much all major Chinese motor companies are now present in the UAE, with most entering into joint ventures with local automotive brands. But why are people here moving towards Chinese vehicles? I didn't even know where the car was from until later in the process. So it was really just more about the looks, about the package, what was inside the car. First, because uh, I'm from China, I know more, uh, more than I know the car too much. Because even this car, before this car come to this uh, UAE, I also long time watching this car. Quality is uh, very good, and also performance is very, uh, very good. Uh, because uh, the price also, especially the price, is very excellent for everybody. One of the key factors driving people towards Chinese vehicles is their price. An average model like this one will set you back about 10,000 US dollars. That's considerably cheaper than a Japanese competitor and almost half the price of a German one. The Middle East is important for global brands because of where it is in the world. The Gulf offers access to key markets in southern Europe, Asia and Africa, a fact the UAE has used to its advantage. Chinese manufacturers are already very strong in Africa. If I talk about the eastern, central and the western Africa, roughly they occupy between 20 to 30 percent market share on the passenger and commercial vehicle side. Most of that trade is getting rooted from UAE. According to Emirates NBD, in 2015 the Gulf's automotive trade value rose 5% year-on-year to reach $65 billion. Chinese brands are set to claim a significant slice of the market in coming years, increasing competition in the process. Empowered by one belt, one road, brands like Geely are using the Middle East to target growth across the wider region, the effects of which are being felt both here and further afield. Norwegian Barkil, CCTV, Dubai.